Hey everybody, I am the Mighty Plantain, and we're going to take a look at a beer from a local Maine brewery this time around. Uh, I've collected a few growlers over the summer in my travels, and we're going to start dipping into those as the winter months come through, and maybe even later. So this one's been sitting in the fridge for a little while. This is from Gritty's. It's Gritty's Halloween Ale, which is a nice fall beer. Yeah, you know what, still in the middle of winter, a nice fall beer can be heavy enough and nice enough to be delicious. Um, minor complaint here with Gritty's, $24 was the cost of a growler fill, not, not just buying the growler outright and having them fill it, it was $24 for the fill. And when most breweries around here are charging $10 to $15 for filling up a glass that you return, that, that seems a bit much. So, um, you know, Gritty's, your, your beer's great, but shame on you for gouging like that. Uh, you know, I understand they're positioned in areas where they get a lot of tourists coming through and folks who might not know any better and pay all that for, for the growler fill. But for me, it, it, this is probably the last one I'm going to have done unless they bring their prices more in line than some of the other breweries around here. It's just, it's not that good. And I can go get a 12 pack of their beer for less than that. And it's more beer at about half the cost if you find them on sale. Normally about 15 to $16 for a decent craft brewery 12 pack around here. Sometimes you get them for 10 to 12 on sale. So economically speaking, the Growler Philip Gritties is not a great option. All right, so enough about that. While I'm getting this worked out, uh, hit me up down below with a like and a share. And if you hit that subscribe button there, you'll get a notification every time I post a new video online. Hopefully you're getting some value out of these. Take some of the mystery out of the local uh, local beer cooler for you. All right, now I do like the fact that they heat seal the top there. A lot of places will just put a little electrical tape around it, but the heat seal does make a bit of a difference in terms of maintaining a nice seal and, and keeping that freshness in. So they filled it right up to the top. I'm hoping that that doesn't mean that I'm going to be in trouble here when I pop this cap. All right, I think we're good. We didn't get a big fizz up. So, Gritty's Halloween Ale. Let's check it out. Getting a nice bit of spiciness off of there. Can't really pin down anything specific. It definitely is evocative of a, of a nice pile of burning leaves, which is a, a great fall image. A little bit of a caramel maltiness up front. Some overall poppy bitterness, nothing particular coming through in pop notes. The hoppy bitterness coming through a little bit more now. Maybe some, some piney notes in there. Um, overall, it's a decent, medium-bodied beer. It's got a great malt characteristic to it. It's, it's pretty roasty with a bit of caramel. Um, I said some pininess from the, from the hops, but not a real, not a, a great, strong hop presence in there. Overall, this is a great fall beer. Um, Gritty's Halloween Ale. I would put it at about a 3.5 out of 5 which is, um, you know, quite a bit better than average, two and a half being average. So definitely check this one out. Uh, hit me up in the comments or the email link down below. Let me know what you think of it, if you agree or disagree you know, with the, uh, the rating. If you've got a beer that you want to see reviewed, hit me up down there as well. We'll see what we can do about getting it online. In the meantime, I'm going to finish this sucker up. You know, I don't think I should drink it straight out of the growler all night, though. That's that's a little bit um, slightly uncouth. I'll put it in a glass.
There we go. Far more sophisticated. Quite good. Well, till next time, folks. Cheers.